You want to reach more people with your videos around the world? Then you have to subtitle them. It is a task that can be very laborious and time-consuming. But thanks to subtitles and provided you also translate your title and description, you will greatly expand your target. Of course YouTube offers an interface to create and manage your subtitles in studio. Text recognition is pretty good, but subtitle adjustments are a hassle. The ergonomics are really bad, and it's always hard to know if we took the right handle of the subtitle block or not. Rather than wasting your time with this, I offer you a software that will save you a lot of time and that has incredible features for an equally incredible price, since it is free. Welcome to my video presentation of Subtitle Edit, the best free and open source software for creating and modifying subtitles for your videos. It allows you to create subtitles in many file formats, synchronize them, correct errors and customize their appearance. The user interface is intuitive and easy to use even for beginners. It is also possible to do automatic translations and work on several subtitle files in different languages at the same time, thus saving a lot of time and effort for your multi-language video projects. We will start by downloading it by following the link in the description. I recommend the setup.exe file. There is a version 3.6.11 but for me it bugs on voice recognition. I advise you to take version 3.6.10 while waiting for 12. Once installed, you launch the software and choose your language from the many languages available. For example French here, or even Indonesian with of course the menus in Indonesian. For the purposes of this multi-language video, we will choose English. There is a help that is very well done with an excellent FAQ, with many examples and explanations available including videos, do not hesitate to consult it. There are also video tutorials, mostly in English of course but which are very interesting such as for example, this video that explains how to position the subtitles in a corner of the screen, left to right at the top or bottom, rather than in the middle at the bottom for a YouTube video. Here is the interface, the first area at the top left, the largest, contains the list of subtitles. Just below you have the text entry window. You can type a first text on two lines, then insert a line for the second text. At the bottom is the synchronization area, that will show the sound in the form of waves and offers three editing tabs including one dedicated to translation, selecting this text and clicking on Google Translate, it opens a browser window with the translated text. There is a second tab dedicated to the creation of subtitles and a third tab for adjusting subtitles that allows you to shift the starts and ends of all subsequent subtitles. All these areas can be resizable at will. The menus are very complete, I will not cover everything in this video. Many formats for import and export, for example the EBUSTL format which allows you to position in YouTube the subtitles where you want in the video. The edit menu is classic with also the possibility of having a right to left writing for Arabic languages. The tools menu with different functions. Spell checking menu. The video menu is where you will open your videos and where you can launch voice recognition, I will come back to it soon. The synchronization menu that I will not cover, then the automatic translation, the options, and even network functions to work with others. The video would be too long if I wanted to talk about all the possibilities of subtitle edit, so we will focus on the essentials. When you save your subtitles there are many possible files formats as you can see. We will preferably use the SPV for an import in YouTube and the SRT for an integration in editing software like Premiere, Vegas, or Resolve. Before starting it is imperative to adjust some parameters. If you're just starting out, make the same settings I did in this video. We start by customizing the rules concerning the line length, the number of characters per second, the minimum duration between two subtitles, and so on. It's up to you to test, but I suggest you follow what I put here to start. On the other hand, I advise you to check the warning online deletion, it will save you from having to retype a line deleted by mistake. You must choose here, what happens when you double-click on a line, in the list of subtitles. I suggest you choose to go to the video position of the subtitle in pause mode, you can also choose to go half a second before, for example. In subtitle formats, I advise you to choose SBV in default format if you make YouTube videos. Bookmark the three or four formats you use the most, it will allow you to have them first, in the long list of recording formats, they will be highlighted, and you will save time. For example, if we add a new format, we find it immediately when we do, save as. 
For shortcuts, I advise you specially to set the one in video that allows you to alternate between playing the video and pause, and to use the escape or escape key on your keyboard instead of the space key. So you can start playing from the text input window instead of inserting a space. Very important and first, you must define a player for the video. If you have VLC media player on your computer, you must indicate the path to VLC. If you do not have it, you can download it from the VideoLAN website, the link is in description. Otherwise you will have to choose MPV, which is proposed here and that you will therefore have to download in order to be able to play the videos in subtitle edit. It's a small technical player that you'll only use for that. In the waveform spectrogram part, I advise you to remove the lines of the grid, it will make the reading of the waves much clearer. If you do not have FMPEG, you will have to download it too. In the tools nothing special, except if you have an API key from Google that you can enter here. And for the rest nothing to change. So much for the parameters part. To see the multiple possibilities of this software, we will imagine that you have a video that speaks in two languages. You want to subtitle it in these same two languages, identically. It will be especially an opportunity to see the basics of editing. Then we will see how to subtitle in a single language with multiple translations. We go to the video menu, open, or we click on the video area, and we open our video. If the waves do not appear we click in the wave window. They are created automatically and allow you to see where the words are. So we have two languages in our video, first French and then English. You can adjust the zoom of the waves to have about 15 seconds visible. We go to the beginning of our video, we start playing. We pause and create our first subtitle. Here we have a first sentence that is here, we select this area, we click the right button and we can listen to the selection. We right click again to add text here and type our text. You will see later that there is another way, faster, but let's start with the basic method to fully understand the general operation. We then have here a second sentence that we can listen to and we realize that the words en tout cas are on the second subtitle. We add a text here and we cut, paste, en tout cas, and we continue our entry of the subtitle. We can listen again, we adjust the end. And that's it. If I want to listen to a specific subtitle, I double click on the line and since we have set the parameter that way, we pause at the beginning of the subtitle and we can check that it is good. We continue with the third subtitle that is here. We add the text box, we listen to the sound again. And then we write the subtitle. So here we have a hole, and we realize that this part is the end of the second, so we take the edge and stretch it to cover this part. We can't put them on top of each other, but we can move the subtitle. If it goes too fast, we have a very interesting function to change the playback speed, for example to 50%, which allows you to slow down the video and to hear the position of each word. You see here white lines, they correspond to a scene change detection. Here and there. We find this in the video menu, here and there. Scene 2 is here with a change of scene from French to English. Remember? So, we spot our first subtitle, we add the text box here, in English. Once we have made all our subtitles, we will save the file that by default will have the name of the video. So that was the first way to do it, the base, by hand. Now let's open the same video, and in the video menu, we go on, audio to text, whisper, it is the most effective. We choose French, since the video is first in French and especially we do not use, translate to English, it crashes. The first time you use it you will have to download a sampling mod. You go on the three points, there are several, take, either the base, or the small, which is the best compromise for me, the others are too big, they will be more accurate but will greatly slow down the text recognition. We generate by clicking on the button, at home with the small model, it takes about 11 seconds for a video that is 36, about a third of the length of the video. With the base model it goes two times faster, but it's a little less accurate. 
we get automatic subtitles that of course are not perfect, but, what is funny is that, Whisper, even translated into English what was in English at least a part, it's very random, but it's interesting. He was asked for voice recognition in French, but he also recognized the English language and a little further he translated from English to French. I can't remember his name. Um, Ethan, to his credit, did not. But as for the moment we are only working on the French part, we will remove what does not interest us. So once you have your machine translation, you correct the errors. There will always be some. It's inevitable and they also depend a lot on the audio quality of your video. This is a subtitle that is too long, so we will stall the video and pause where we want to cut. We position the cursor in the bottom area exactly where it ends. We click in the input area after the last word, and we ask to cut to the video position of the cursor and done. It creates a new subtitle in the right position. We can cancel the line return of the automatic break. We eventually correct the subtitle and again we cut this subtitle here. To merge two subtitles, instead of copying and pasting and deleting, the best is to select the two lines, right click, and ask to merge them. Then we correct and we cut to the length we want. Here we will stop at Germany. We pause at the desired location, adjust and click in the input box to cut to the position of the video. I remind you that we use the escape key to read and pause, it's easier and faster than with the mouse. And we see that we stop exactly at the change of scene. Here we have read so a mistake. We go to the tools menu to see the list of errors and he tells us that we have a line that is too long, fine. You can also use the tool to fix errors, you see the line in red too long, and just apply the changes, so that it does it automatically. Now that we have this part in French, we will register it under the name Francais. Be careful to choose New. Then you reopen your video and restart an automatic whisper recognition of the video for the English part. So we choose English, always with our small or basic model and generate. We get a list with a first line of 17 seconds where it speaks French and then we have the English part subtitled in English. We will listen to it, but we will slow down to 70% so that it is easier. Remember and... Already it starts too late, it is postponed earlier. Understand... Understand is here so we cut to the position of the video cursor and we adjust. Or use is something that is happening in case... By case basis on court. And... The third subtitle is much too long too so we stop it here and we cut to the position of the video cursor. We check what we have just done and we make the necessary corrections. When we finish our English part we will of course remove the line speaking French which is useless to us and we save under the file name English. We keep this English file open and we open the French file but in translation mode. He becomes the original. We have the four lines of French that start at the second second until the 16th. We select them, we right click, then columns and we copy the original text to the current file which is therefore English. We end up with all the subtitles identical to the original languages and we can save it under the name Multilang. This file respects the original languages in writing. Now that you understand the basics, let's see the case where you want to do complete translations. The most effective for translation is to start from a 100% English version, which we will do now. We make new and we take the French file, we remove the empty lines. We go into automatic translation, then we choose Google. Be careful to choose no merge here. Then from French to English, and finally translation. It's very fast. We click OK, and we have our original text in French on the right and the translated version into English on the left. We can check line by line that the translation is good. Once we have done that, we close the original to keep only the English translation that we can check again and recalibrate if necessary. We will save this translation under French.en to save the French part translated into English. We open the file English and we open in translation mode. This French translated into English Francais.en and as just now we select the four lines, right click, columns, copy the text from the original to the current file. And we now find ourselves with a file that is 100% in English. 
It is registered under the name Multilang.en, which means multilingual, translated entirely into English. We close the original, we reload the video, and we can check that our English subtitles match the dialogues. We now have a set of subtitles that are all in English so intended for English viewers. Concernant les fameux chars Léopard 2, to remember and understand that fair use... Now that we have this file in English it will be very simple to add other languages. We go to the automatic translation menu, Google, from English to Indonesian. OK. The original text here. And the translation there. We can compare line by line. Once you compare the translation and find that it was good, you can close the original file and work on the file translated into this new language. For example recut lines too long, then we will save it under multilang.id i.e. the file of the multilanguage video in Indonesian version. And we continue for the other languages. We open our file all in English and we translate it into Spanish. We check line by line that everything is fine, we check for errors. Here we have a line that is too long. We close our original file and we only work on the translation, we make an automatic cut and so on. And we record in multilang.es that is to say multilingual video translated entirely into Spanish. Here we can do the same thing again with Chinese if we speak it and read it. In the end you will have one file per language. Now all you have to do is add them to your video in YouTube studio. You go to the details of the video, then subtitles on the left add a language for example Indonesia. In subtitles on the right add an import a file with synchronization data. You choose the corresponding SBV file, and then you can check that everything is perfectly calibrated. You can also import your subtitle files into your video editor to turn them into text embedded in your video. To do this, simply take the SBV file concerned and save it in a format compatible with your editor, usually the SRT. There you go, using Subtitle Edit and its features, you will be able to create professional subtitles for your videos, even if you are a beginner. Feel free to explore the other features and check out the extensive help. From now on, your video will be ready to conquer the world.